Hello and welcome to Wednesday the 28th of July 2021. Let's have a look at activity 1 for today. As always, let's look at the basic instructions. Get your worksheet ready. Read the sentences. Write a short sentence using an apostrophe to show who owns what. Send a photo on Class Dojo when you're done. So boys and girls, if we look at the worksheet for today, it's talking about apostrophes and possession. How do we use an apostrophe to show that something belongs to somebody else? We want you to read the sentence and write an easier sentence using the apostrophe. In the example, the toy that belongs to Matt, the answer they write, Matt's toy. I think this is too easy and my K3 students are very clever I think you can do a little bit better. Let's look at sentences number one and number two, and I want you to read how teacher David answers them, and I want you to copy the correct answers and think about how you will answer question three, four, and five. So sentence number one, the dog that belongs to Pat. And sentence number two, the shirt belongs to Savion. Can you think how we can write a nice, easy sentence with these two? Let me show you what I mean. Sentence number one, the dog that belongs to Pat, we change, it is Pat's dog. Okay, nice and easy. That's a proper sentence that teacher likes. We are practicing our pronouns. We are practicing is and are and as well as our capital letters and full stops. So this is the way I want you to answer it. So make sure you answer it just like teacher David or he will minus points. Question two, the shirt belongs to Savion. It is Savion's shirt. Please pay close attention to these sentences because each sentence has a person's name. So we will need two capital letters for each sentence. And sentence number five, even three capital letters. Make sure, like normal, the first letter of the sentence is capital. And remember, we use capital letters for people's names. So in our two sentences, Pat and Savion are the people's names. So Pat, P-A-T, we change, we add the apostrophe S to show that it is Pat's dog. And the same with Savion, we add the apostrophe S to show it is Savion's shirt. Okay, the last three sentences, the glasses belong to mom, the coat belongs to Ben, the table belongs to Jim. To Mr. Jim. Oh, Mr. There's a title there as well. You'll learn about titles again in grade one, so don't worry too much about it now. But trust me, you will need an extra capital letter for the word Mr. If we look at sentences 3, 4, and 5, we can start them all in the exact same way as we did with sentences 1 and 2. It is. Remember, it, we are talking about the thing. So number one, we are talking about the dog. Number two, we're talking about the shirt. So we use the pronoun it to replace the glasses. It is mom's glasses. It is talking about the glasses and it helps us to understand our sentences a little bit easier. Okay, so start each sentence, three, four, and five, with it is. And then choose the correct name. You use the apostrophe S and put the item or the noun at the end of the sentence. Please don't forget nice finger spaces like we've been practicing and don't forget your full stop at the end of the sentence. If you forget these things, again, teach David will minus points. All right, good luck and have fun. And thank you for watching. Hope you guys have had fun today and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.